Romans 8 verses 26 to 27 is a profound passage that delves into the intimate relationship between the believer, the Holy Spirit, and God. In the same way, the Spirit helps us in our weakness. We do not know what we ought to pray for. But the Spirit himself intercedes for us through wordless groans. And he who searches our hearts knows the mind of the Spirit, because the Spirit intercedes for God's people in accordance with the will of God. These words from the Apostle Paul offer comfort and assurance to believers, highlighting the active role of the Holy Spirit in our lives, particularly in our prayers. The Context of Romans 8 verses 26 to 27 Before diving into the specifics of these verses, it's essential to understand the broader context of Romans 8. This chapter is often seen as one of the most powerful and theologically rich chapters in the New Testament. Paul speaks of the life in the Spirit, the assurance of salvation, and the hope of future glory. The chapter begins by affirming that there is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus and goes on to describe the new life believers have through the Spirit. It also acknowledges the present suffering of believers, yet points them to the hope of ultimate redemption and glory. In this context, Romans 8 verses 26 to 27 addresses the believer's experience of weakness, particularly in the area of prayer. Paul acknowledges that believers often find themselves at a loss for words or unsure of how to pray, especially in times of trial or suffering. It is in these moments of vulnerability and weakness that the Holy Spirit steps in, offering help in a deeply personal and profound way. The Spirit's help in our weakness. Paul's statement, the Spirit helps us in our weakness, is a source of great comfort. The word helps, in this verse, is translated from the Greek word synantolambanami, which implies, coming alongside to assist. This is not a distant or passive form of help, it is active and engaged. The Holy Spirit doesn't just observe our struggles from afar but comes alongside us, sharing in our burdens and providing the support we need. This help is particularly relevant in the context of prayer. Paul acknowledges a universal human experience, we do not know what we ought to pray for. This admission of uncertainty resonates with many believers. There are times when the complexities of life, the depth of our pain, or the confusion of our circumstances render us speechless before God. We may know that we need to pray, but the words simply won't come. It's in these moments of weakness and uncertainty that the Holy Spirit intervenes. The Spirit's intercession through wordless groans Paul goes on to describe the nature of the Spirit's intercession, the Spirit himself intercedes for us through wordless groans. This is a profound and mysterious statement. The term wordless groans suggests an expression of deep emotion that transcends words. It is as though the Holy Spirit communicates the depths of our hearts to God in a language that goes beyond human speech. These groans are not just an expression of pain or despair, they are the Spirit's way of articulating our needs in a manner that aligns perfectly with God's will. The Holy Spirit, who dwells within us, knows our hearts intimately and understands our deepest longings and desires, even when we ourselves cannot fully comprehend them. This intercession is not limited by the inadequacies of human language. Instead, it is a divine communication that expresses the inexpressible. God's understanding of the Spirit's intercession. In verse 27, Paul writes, And he who searches our hearts knows the mind of the Spirit, because the Spirit intercedes for God's people in accordance with the will of God. This verse reveals a remarkable truth about the relationship between God the Father and the Holy Spirit. The phrase, he who searches our hearts, refers to God, who knows us completely. There is nothing hidden from God, he sees and understands the depths of our being. What is particularly striking is that God knows the mind of the Spirit. This speaks to the perfect unity and harmony within the Trinity. 
The Spirit's intercession is fully understood and accepted by God because it is in perfect alignment with His will. This means that when the Spirit intercedes for us, we can have complete confidence that our prayers are being presented to God in the most perfect and effective way possible. The Implications for Believers Romans 8 verses 26 to 27 carries profound implications for the life of every believer. It offers a deep sense of assurance and comfort. Even in our moments of greatest weakness, when we are unsure of what to pray or how to express our needs, the Holy Spirit is at work within us, interceding on our behalf. This means that our prayers are never in vain or ineffective, even when they feel inadequate. The Spirit's intercession ensures that our prayers reach the throne of God, perfectly attuned to His will. Additionally, these verses encourage believers to rely on the Holy Spirit in their prayer life. Knowing that the Spirit is actively involved in our prayers should lead us to a greater sense of dependence on Him. We are not alone in our spiritual journey. The Spirit is our constant companion, guide, and helper. Romans 8 verses 26 to 27 reminds us of the importance of aligning our desires with God's will. The Spirit's intercession is always in accordance with God's will, which means that as we grow in our relationship with the Spirit, our own desires and prayers will increasingly reflect God's purposes. This alignment with God's will is key to living a life that is pleasing to Him and fulfilling His purpose for us. Romans 8 verses 26 to 27 offers a beautiful and profound insight into the role of the Holy Spirit in the life of a believer, particularly in the area of prayer. In our moments of weakness and uncertainty, when we don't know how to pray, the Spirit steps in, interceding for us with wordless groans that perfectly express our deepest needs to God. This divine intercession ensures that our prayers are always in alignment with God's will, bringing us comfort, assurance, and a deeper sense of dependence on the Holy Spirit. As we meditate on these verses, we are encouraged to trust in the Spirit's work within us, knowing that even when we struggle to find the right words, God is listening, and the Spirit is interceding on our behalf. Amen.